I have been in countless public speaking situations of various sizes and occasions since I was about 13 years old. And none have frightened me or humbled me quite as much as this very moment. Because this is my kid, my son. And the feeling to get this just right is beyond intense. As parents, we are our children's first teachers. We teach them to walk and talk. That part might have a little regret later in life. <laughs> to tie their shoes and recite the alphabet and to count. To take turns and to share and to be kind. To ride bikes, do chores, and drive. We spend so much time and focus on teaching them to be ready to go out in the world we miss that they are actually our greatest teachers. Fate has crossed our paths more than once at high school, uh, Safeway, and SAIT. Fate gave us chances to ignite our spark. And I am forever grateful that our love has grown into roaring flames. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it becomes something so pure and wonderful that you cannot imagine spending another day of your life without them. We are here today because Connor and Sabrina have found that in one another. My first few vows are borrowed. I have a hard time conveying it's okay. how much you and our relationship mean to me in my own words. <clears throat> I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> you That's are me. my heart and soul. <laughs> my best friend, my forever. Your love provides me with warmth and comfort every day, and I couldn't be more thankful to have you as my partner in life. When we first reconnected, the word commitment terrified me. However, through your actions and words, you quickly showed me what it was like to truly be loved. Even though the first time you said you loved me, I pretended mom had called me upstairs for dinner, and I ran away. 
Not long after, our love blossomed and quickly our lives came together as one. Before we knew it, we had moved in together, traveled together, became a family of four, bought a few houses, and now we're getting married. As I stand here today, I look back at our life together and I feel so proud of everything we have accomplished. I can't imagine going through all these experiences without you by my side. With you, life is just better. You once told me a story from four and a half years ago when you were alone in my bedroom with Lila. You said to her, I'm going to marry your mom one day. As you know, Lila's a great judge of character, so I'm glad you kept that promise to her. You're such a great parent to Lila and Theo, and I wish they could both be here today. On April 30th, 2018, you gave me a promise ring in front of the Disney castle at Disneyland. That was the first time, first and last time you ever surprised me with anything. <laughs> <laughs> that day you promised to love me to infinity and beyond. At that moment, I knew that sweet Disney promise ring would one day ex be exchanged for an engagement ring that eventually would have a wedding band to match. I'm so thankful I was right. <laughs> At the end of the day, I want you to always remember, I love how kind and caring you are. I love how silly you are. I love how you think you're funny. <laughs> I love how you can never stay mad at me. But most of all, I love how much you love me. I promise to always laugh with you, to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally, even when we don't agree on something. I promise to adore you and to cherish you as much as I do our dogs. I promise that I will always be present, honest, and to walk with you through every blessing and every storm for the rest of our lives. I vow to be the best parts of me that fit perfectly with the best parts of you. I vow to say I love you and give you a kiss before falling asleep each night. I promise you my heart, and with it, I am completely yours. You truly are my person, my other half, my everything. I love you forever. <laughs> Actually, Sabrina has known Connor quite a bit longer than Connor has known Sabrina. <laughs> they went to the high school, same high school, and Connor, you know, he was out doing his thing. He just, you know, it, he never really seemed to notice her until that alumni event at Sate. I think the only thing that Connor has eyes for now, besides the outside world, is his beautiful wife, Sabrina. Connor, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I heard him first talk about Sabrina, I knew since that first day he found someone to go on adventures with. And ever since they first met, it's always been little adventures and little things he'd tell me about, like, hey, I did this, I went to this restaurant with Sabrina, it's, it's awesome. Everything has involved her since they met, and it's amazing to see with that. And now, for the rest of his life, I'm not surprised, he now has Sabrina to spend every one of those adventures with. And I'm so excited to see all of these and hear the little stories from them, and, Sabrina and Connor, it's a rare thing to look at a couple and know with certainty that they have found their person to share all of life's ups and downs with. I'm so happy that you found it in each other, and I wish you a lifetime of love, laughter, and a great libido. <laughs> I love you both very, very much. If everybody could raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. E. Cheers. Cheers. The greatest thing we learn from our children is to embrace the intense, unconditional, and purely simple joy of loving this amazing young human just because they are here. The love that soars straight into our hearts equally with every delicious smile or with a single tear. That we love with grace, strength, and humor. I certainly didn't get everything right as your mom, but it has been a great privilege and an immense joy to be your mom and to love you for you. I love you to infinity and beyond.
Connor, I've watched you grow up to be a fine young man, like you are today. And I'm proud of you, son. Proud that you have found someone who will want to share their life with you. That person is Sabrina. I'm very proud of them and how far they've come. Everything that they've done together. As the relationship flourished, I got to know Sabrina more and more. And the bond that we developed over time was something that I can only describe as a father-daughter relationship. You have become the daughter I've never had. Thank you for taking the chance on Connor and accepting him as he is, twerks and all. <laughs> Always be true to each other. Share your joys and burdens. Love and laugh frequently. And always be each other's best friend. I love you both dearly with all my heart. Um, I'd like to welcome Connor to the family. So happy that you made her happy. And thank you for that. But I would just like to raise a glass. Connor and Sabrina, I love you very much, and I'm so very proud of both of you. On the serious side, Connor and Sabrina, one of the things that people say all the time is happy wife, happy life. I request that you never say that to each other. Auntie Beth and I say now, happy spouse, happy house. And that is how you make it through. There's two of you, and I'm confident that you will make it the warmest of homes for everyone.